today we are going to take an alcohol an Athens Blue Box PA1 and we are going to strip it all down clean it all up rebuild it put in a 24 volt motor with a 3d printed cradle a bunch of PC boards probably a bunch of universal joints 3d printed and then we are going to set it up we're going to go a little overkill on the circuit boards to make it super easy to put a decoder in here it's going to be really easy to put a decoder in we're going to make this thing totally dcc ready now if you remember a while back this was a pb one that's the pb it's a b unit what we did with this one was we did the same thing but we went ahead and make that made this one factory new and since they got so this is one that we're going to make DCC I want to show you the difference between the two eras Zamac a zinc alloy side frames and a curved cradle that holds it together side frames do not come off and they are on a metal they have a steel steel uh, a gearbox they have the two-part worm gear housing gray motor gray flywheels okay here's the later edition almost the same thing it's got uh, the steel gearbox again but this time it's got plastic side frames and the wheels got the phosphor bronze nuts on them so that's what they did with that and then it's the gearbox is inside a housing it's plastic and it's got the standard cap over worm here that's the difference between the two we're not going to mess with the factory new one. Oh, the other one is b units do not have a headlight the a's have a headlight and look at the way this thing is mounted it's mounted to the oh, look at the way this thing is mounted it's mounted to the end of the truck it's a little clip on on the truck and the side the uh, gearbox is bent over so the light bulb picks up power from one side into the bracket and then the bottom of it touches the gearbox and you've got light whereas the newer one use the same standard setup except there's no light and there's no there isn't one of those big arms that comes up to put the light bulb in that's the difference okay this is going to be now that you've done a lot of these with me we're going to this is going to be a quicker video series i'm not going to go into as much detail i'm just going to point out things that i've done here and there and as much you know i hate expert steps this is one of those videos where if you've seen the other things that other previous blue box rebuilds you'll know what i'm talking about if you haven't you're just going to get an overview kind of as we go setting things up but most of it will be done off camera and then brought out so you can see what the result is i'm going to tear all this down now and then i'm going to put it into the ultrasonic cleaner and then we're going to bring it back and check on fitting a motor mount we'll measure that up that that will be the next video here we'll measure this so i'm gonna go ahead break it down clean it up and get it uh, ready for motor mounting 